Did you know that the elephant's tusks are actually their teeth? Well, their tusks never stop growing. When an elephant shakes the tree, the tusks will stop growing. Otherwise, it will grow longer and longer. Hi, thanks for having me. My name is Puka, class 2A1. I actually meet this Achimedes Primary School. Today, I want to introduce to you about my Fax Tracker booklet about elephants. We learned a lot about elephants. We went to the library and the museum. We searched the internet and read books. We were being fax trackers. Fax tracking is like exploring everything about elephants. In this book, I'm going to share some of these facts with you. So, get ready to explore, to read the amazing facts about elephants. Here is the table of contents. 1. Elephant facts. 2. What and how elephants eat. 3. Types of elephants. 4. Protect elephants. 5. The story of the six blind men and the elephant. Chapter 1. Elephant Facts To begin, elephants are very big land animals. They can weigh up from 4,000 to 7,500 kilograms. Wow, that's, that's so heavy. And can weigh up and can and they can measure up to 3 meters tall. That's so tall. It is three times taller than I am. Elephants are mammals. Do you know why they are mammals? Well, animals who give birth to live young, we call them mammals. They are massive with big ears, long tusks, gray skin, and their long nose. We call them the trunk. This is crazy! Elephants with blue skin? Wow! Maybe he just washed up in a river. That's crazy! One of another facts about elephants is that the tusks never stop growing as I say in the beginning. When an elephant shakes the tree, it will stop growing. But if the elephant doesn't shake the tree, it will grow longer and longer. Chapter 2. What and how elephants eat. Elephants eat grass, plants, and fruit. They use their long nose, the trunk, to grab trees, plants, fruit, and grass. The elephant's trunk is also used to drink water. That's a magical trunk, isn't it? Chapter 3. Types of Elephants There are three types of elephants. There are African savanna elephants, African forest elephants, and Asian elephants. African and Asian elephants are differentiated most easily by their ears, their head shape, and their tusks. As you can see here, African elephants have big ears. And they look like the continent Africa. But Asian elephants have small ears. As you can see here, they, this is a female Asian elephant and she doesn't have tusks. But both male and female elephants, African elephants, have tusks. Well, you know that male Asian elephants do have tusks. Asian elephants look like they have two humps on their heads. But as you can see here, African elephants, they don't have humps. You can see here, the African forest elephants, they usually have brown mud on their heads. Chapter 4. Protect elephants. Currently, elephants are endangered species because people hunt them to get their tusks for home decoration and traditional medicines. They are also used for weapons. 
like swords and knives. As you can see here, I drew a picture about I drew a picture of ivory tusks. They look like swords together, isn't it? I was about to add a skull, so it looks like a pirate flag. In the final chapter, chapter five, I will tell you a funny story about the six blind men and the elephant. There once were six blind men and an elephant walking down the road. The first, the first one touched its body and he felt it is like a wide brick wall. The second one touched its foot. Mm. And he felt it is like the tree trunk. Now, I have an interesting fact. The trunk has two meanings. The first one is the tree trunk, the the hard covering that has that usually has a tree hollow that is brown. And the second one is this one, the long nose of the elephant. The third guy touched its tusks and he felt it was like a spear because it's sharp. In this picture it doesn't like it doesn't look sharp to me. The fourth one touched its trunk. It, it felt it is like a slimy snake. And the, the fifth one touched its ear. It wiggles and it makes soft breezes. So he imagined it is like a fan, like this fan. And the sixth and the last one touched its tail and he felt it is like a rope. Each blind man touched the different parts of the elephant and imagined the different things in their heads. The lesson learned here is we have to look, we have to touch everything in every aspect so we can know what the thing is. And now, and this is the end of my booklet. We learned lots of amazing elephant facts. For example, their appearance, what and how they eat the different types of elephants and the funny story about the about the elephant. Last but not least, we have to protect elephants because they can help us in many ways. I hope you all enjoy my Fact Tracker booklet. If you like my booklet, please subscribe to my video and give me your thumbs up and heart. Thanks for listening. See you in the next project. Bye-bye.